All right, guys, 007 here, and we're going to do a video on lowering the Corvette, but we're going to do a video on the ZR1 because there's no video on lowering the stock ZR1's height. So we're going to give, give you some measurements here on the front bumper. Right about here, we're looking about almost five inches, a little higher from the ground. And uh, we'll do a measurement afterwards. We do the front and the lower, uh, lower the whole front and the back using uh, 10 millimeter. Counterclockwise, you rotate it, get your jack and your jack stand. You can just do it with all those tools and uh, we'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Now it's done. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take off his tires so we can get uh, the camera in there so you can see the, uh, the bolt that we need to turn and uh, show you loosening up those nuts. Yep, I use these. I don't like air guns. And that's it. Make sure when you're working on your car, you do have the pucks. You can find these ones on the website, c7performance.shop. There we go. Pull the tire out of the way. Yeah, because it goes right on that. Do you want? You can get right here. Let me see. High enough for it. I should be good right there. Right, as long as it doesn't touch that. Yeah, we're good. Now you take your 10 millimeter and make sure it's counterclockwise. Yeah, yep. you can get that. I see it. You recording? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So right here is the bolt, counterclockwise. This is all you have to do. It went a lot. Oh yeah, it went a lot. So that's it on that. Uh -huh. Jacked it up. Take the little jack stand out. Get so your tire. How long was that? How long it took? Probably takes like five minutes. <laughs> Free mod. So don't be afraid on your ZR1 if you want to do this. Caliber is huge on this thing. So uh, when you got the side skirts on here, like these carbon fiber ones, just make sure you get yourself a low profile uh, jack like this one here so it can clear uh, your side skirt. You don't want to rip it up with using just a regular one or a generic one. Just make sure it's a low profile. That way you have plenty of clearance.
clearance. So now you have plenty of clearance instead of turning the tires. There's plenty of clearance to actually get in there and look at it, see what you're doing, instead of having a tire in your way. And when the tire's off, you can clean the inside if you want. So that's the benefit of doing the lowering with the tire off. All right. Put the light on. Let's see if this thing. Oh, we got to check underneath. There. Yeah. See, I'm already pulling. So now we're gonna lower the jack. You can stay there. You should see it lower right onto it. Seems like it's the last of it right there. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's tight. And there you go. Whoa. Looks like it came out at least an inch. Oh yeah, that one look that one look. It just it makes a huge difference. Yeah, we'll do a measurement of Front, we have to reset the tire on and put that in its position. again okay all right so we're gonna go ahead after we did the front and we lowered them both sides we're just gonna go ahead and now measure up here it was five inches and it almost it's about an inch yep four inch now and there you go that's your difference in lowering and this is on the ZR1 mm -hmm. and you can definitely tell now in the wheel well area right here how much lower it actually went you can't even get your fingers in here now. Between your custom made spats there. The only ZR1 in the world to have the custom spats. <laughs> All right, so now we'll do the back and we'll check that out. Now, dude, that looks a lot lower. I'm looks getting the logo in the back. <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, so we're gonna loosen up the rear. You can do it with the tire on if you'd want. But I recommend just taking it off so you have clearance to do the job and see what you're doing. Make sure you're doing it right and you can clean your rims afterwards. All right, so let's do the other one counterclockwise to unscrew the rear bolt to lower it. Tell you what, this thing's come in handy for me many times. <laughs> All right, we'll that. Set it out of the way. And then take the jack stand. You can use a, another jack if you want, but jack stand works perfect. 
for the job. So let's lift it up a little more. make some room for the camera you have a better view of it I think that's almost there yeah and we're there selling a set of these online, you see it? The tires? Wheels? Yeah, the wheels. Oh yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. wonder why they sell them. Hmm. I mean, they're good wheels. Everybody's going for the forged ones. Uh, which ones? Forged. Yeah, Completely I mean, forged. You're only going to save so much weight here and there anyways. Yeah. I mean, how much more weight can you save? Now, so everybody can see where the bolt's at. Should be able to see it right there. Is that it? Yeah. 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 That one was already low. Yeah. So this side was actually lower than the other? He was. I measured there we go. it was like a uh, quarter inch lower. Mm -hmm. awesome. I guess we, maybe we should have. That's all right. <laughs> you don't need to be a certified mechanic. You're better than that. Yeah, you don't need to be a certified man. As long as you've done your research and you know what you're doing. Like that thing, I built, I built that Mustang motor up, man. Installed it by myself and was asking for help and nobody was around. Everybody was working. I got pictures of that. It's actually on Facebook. It's just crazy, man. <laughs> that was a pain in the neck to do. 
I did it all one handed swinging the motor in. Oh my god. <laughs> but I got it in. Boy, was I thrilled. I didn't <laughs> think I was going to be able to do it. So my friend came and helped afterwards. You got to do a separate video on that too one day. Oh, on the Mustang? All the modes, yeah. It's got everything, man. Tubular frame all the way underneath. It's got it. everything in the back. A lot of work under that thing. Break. It's already locked on here, so you can tighten these the way there, like this now. Oops, there's so much pressure on it. What's that? I was gonna take remove the jack underneath, but got still pressure on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll jack it out. I just want to get these on there. Get these tires. Huh? <laughs> my bolt tires. <laughs> So we just got done lowering the ZR1, and you can already tell it is a lot lower here in the front, a lot lower right here in the wheel well. You can tell it's a lot lower, and then in the back, it will settle as he drives, and it looks a lot lower there, much better. Now he should have the same gap as mine. Lowered in the back and in the front. 